Ahlan wa sahlan. The word on the board is nazala. This word looks like the word kharaja, qatala, fataha, and the rest of them. And you all know from our previous discussion that all of these words which we have mentioned, including nazala, all they fall under the category of al fa'ilu thulathi al mujarrab, the trilateral bare verbs. Verbs which have all of the three letters as the original letters and if you omit any of the letters you're going to change the meaning completely so these are the basic verb pattern that we have now consider the word anzala and consider the word nazala you can see they are still gotten from the first word nazala only that an addition has been made and this we have discussed extensively in the previous episode today we want to join the two previous lessons together. The first one is the addition of a letter to the basic three literal verb, which is al fa'il thulathi al mazid. So this word nazala and anzala, they are called al fa'il thulathi al mazid, which means three literal verb with an addition. Now, previously we have also discussed the topic of transitive and intransitive verb. Where we say transitive verb are verbs which requires an object to complete the, to make a complete sentence. While intransitive verbs are verbs which do not require a, an object to make a sense. And we brought a lot of examples. If you have not watched that video, the link above will suffice. Now look at the word nazala. It simply means he came down. To form a sentence, I can simply say nazala. Ali Yun. Ali came down. This is okay. As for the word Anzala, it means to bring down. Like I can say, Anzala Ali Yun Hamidan. Ali brought down Hamid. The same goes for Nazala. It also means the same thing. I can say, Nazala Ali Yun Hamidan, meaning Ali caused Hamid to descend. He brought him down. What we want to discuss here, we have already seen that the word nazala, which means Ali came down, does not require an object. It's just nazala Ali Yun. Ali came down. You can ask an object. For anzala and nazala, they require an object, which means the mafrolum be. And this is how we've been able to categorize them as nazala falls under the intransitive, while nazala and anzala. They are under the transitive, which we call al fa'ilul muta'addi, the intransitive al fa'ilul lazim. This is to say that any verb or most of the Arabic verbs which have three letter verb words, these verbs, even though some of them may be intransitive originally, you can simply change them to form transitive verb al fa'ilul muta'addi by simply adding hamza like anzala. Or doubly the second letter like what? Nazala. This is very easy. Another example I can give you. Let's look at the word Kharaja. And say Kharaja Muhammadun min al Fasli. Muhammad went out of the class by himself. So this one does not require an object. Because Muhammad is the performer of the action and it suffices. But if I added Hamza to it, it becomes Akhroja. So I can simply say Akhroja Muhammadun or Akhroja al Mudarrisu Muhammadan min al Fasli. The teacher sent out Muhammad from the class. So Akhroja, with the addition of this Hamza, has made it to become Al Fa'ilul Muta'addi transitive verb because Muhammad is now coming as the object, the Maf'ulu Bihi of the sentence so what is all this about this is to say that originally the arabic verbs have three letter words like nazala khoroja fataha and the rest of them but if you want to change and these three letter verbs some of them which are trans intransitive verbs meaning they don't require an object to make a sense you can turn them to in to transitive that's a fairly muta'addi by simply adding hamza and what and doubling the second letter and this is what we shall be discussing today extensively because we have lots and lots of examples 
from our book and some exercises that will make it better for us to understand so stay tuned from the beginning to the end and if you have not subscribed to our channel do consider hitting the subscription button to be part of our life family now let's look at this yasir al-fa'ilu lazim muta'addiyan binaqlihi ila ba'abay af'ala wa fa'ala we are still on our book Durus al al Arabiya and for those of us who have not gotten a copy you can sleep, simply click on the description box to download yours he says yasir al-fa'ilu lazim an intransitive verb can be changed can become a muta'addiyan that is a transitive verb al-fa'ilu muta'addi binaklihi ila ba'abay by simply changing it, taking it away, taking them to the two patterns of af'ala and fa'ala as we have discussed. So an intransitive verb coming in the three letters can simply ch be changed to transitive by making it in the pattern of af'ala or fa'ala. Kama yatadihu min al amthilatil atiya just as it is explained, or just as it will become clear in the following examples. The first example we have says Kharaja Hamidun Minal Fasli Hamid went out of the class Here we have Akhraja Al Mudarrisu Hamida Minal Fasli The teacher took Hamid out of the class Meaning he sent him out of the class The first one is Kharaja Meaning Hamid went out by himself The second Akhraja He was being sent out Can you spot the difference? The first Hamid is the performer of the action while the second, the teacher is the performer of the action, so Hamid becomes the receiver, which is the object in the sentence. Because the teacher now takes his position as a subject, therefore, automatically, Hamid becomes the object. The second example we have, Nazal al means Sayyaratil Isaf. The injured person, the injured, the wounded person, came down from the ambulance. You can see, he came down from the ambulance. أنزل الممرضون الجريحة من سيارة الإسعاف. The nurses brought down the wounded from the ambulance. Can you see? Just by simply adding Hamza to Khoraja and it becomes Akhoraja, you have changed the meaning of the sentence. The first one, Khoraja الجريح, the wounded came down by himself. Nazala, he came down by himself. But by saying Anzala, now it is the nurses who are performing the action of bringing down so they brought down the wounded example number three we have jalasa talibu jadidu amam al mudarrisi the new student sat in front the new student sat in front of the teacher he sat on this side we have ajlas al mudarrisu talib al jadida amama the teacher sat the teacher made the new student to sit in front of him so Jalasa he sat by himself. Ajilasa he was being seated. So someone is making him to sit. So Jalasa he sat. Ajilasa he was made to be he was made to sit. So Ajilasa Mudari so Pali Baljadida Mama. Can you see? So by simply adding Hamza to three letter verbs, it makes it to become af ala pattern, and that will be in the transitive alpha mutaaddi pattern. Now, the second, the bar we have, Nazala Tiflu Mina Ta'ira. The baby came down from the plane, or from the aircraft, from the plane. So, the baby came down from the plane by himself. But the verb here is being changed to what? Nazal to Tifla Mina I brought down the baby from the plane. So, Nazala, he came down by himself. Nazala, somebody is doing the action, which is me. Nazal to Tifla. I brought down the baby from the airplane. Number two, we have Namal Maridu. The sick slept. The patient, what? Slept. But here we have Nawamad Dawa ul Marido. The medicine caused the patient to sleep. The first one, the patient slept without any aid. He slept by himself. But here, It is the medicine which makes the patient to fall asleep. So that is why it is coming on the pattern of Nawama. Nama, he slept. Nawama, he's been made to sleep. Number three, we have Najaru Kabu Sayyarati Latin Kalabat. The riders or the passengers of the tumbled car. 
survived. The passengers of the tumbled Karika which somersaulted, they survived. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the passengers of the somersaulted car to survive. The first one is Naja. They survived. You just say they survived. But here in Najjallahu, we are according that safety to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you see? So this is different between forming the verb in a three-letter word and making it to be in the four-letter word by simply adding Hamza or doubling the second letter like Nazala, Najja, uh, and what Nawama, MashaAllah. Now we have a single note here which says, إِذَا نُقِلَ الْفَعِلُ الْمُتَعَدِّ إِلَى مَفْعُولٍ وَاحِدٍ That if, um, if a, a, a transitive verb is being extended, if the action of a transitive verb is being extended to wahidin, to a single object, إِلَى هَذَيْنِ الْبَعْبَيْنِ In these two patterns of أَفْعَلَى and نَزَّلَى, the way we have done it, تَعَدَّى إِلَى مَفْعُولَيْنِ the action will now be extended to two objects. Instead of the action being extended to just one object, it becomes two objects. An example, see the word, semi al al Qur'ana. The teacher had the Qur'an, or he listened to the Qur'an, he had the Qur'an. Here on this side we have, Asma al al Qur'an. The student made the teacher to listen to the Qur'an. The, can you see this? The teacher made the student to hear, the student made the teacher to hear the Quran. So, the student, they recited the Quran. They are the one who recited the Quran, but they recite it upon the teacher. So, the action is extended to both the teacher and the Quran. Therefore, the teacher and the Quran are coming as maf'ulayn, that is, um, two objects. Therefore, they are carrying fatha. Number two, we have Fahima Pali Darasa. The student understood the lesson. He understood the lesson. Fahima. On this side we have Faham al Mudarris of Pali Badarsa. The teacher made the student to understand the lesson. So here we have two objects: the student and also the a lesson. So Fahama. This because changing Fahima to Fahama simply changes the meaning to what and into a transitive verb. So after seeing all this, we have a short exercise to solve by ourselves. The first instruction says, Each of the verbs coming below, we are to place them in two sentences. In the first sentence, place it just the way it is. And in the second sentence, make it to um make it to come after adding Hamza of transitive to it. So the first verbs you're going to see, they're becoming in, in their original, original form, while in the second sentence, add Hamza to them. An example we have, Kharaja Hamid Minal Fasli. Hamid went out of the class. On this side we say, Akhraja al Muraqibu Hamidan Minal Fasli. The, co the watcher, the compound master, sent out Hamid from the class. Akhraja. Number two we have, Dakhola, we can also say, Dakhola Muhammadun Nil Masjid, Muhammad entered into the mosque. Here I can say, Adakhala Abi Muhammad Nil Masjid. Do you see? My father took Muhammad inside the mosque. That is very easy. Next you have Jalasa. I can say, Jalasa Tiflu. Jalasa Tiflu ala Seruri. The baby sat on the bed. Here we say, Ajilasa Til Ummu Tifla ala Seruri. The mother made the babies to sit on the bed. Very easy. Next we have Nazala. I can say um, Nazala Muhammadun. Uh, I can say Nazala Aliyun Mina Toiro. Ali came down from the plane. And here we say Anzala Al Ahu Anzala Al Ahu Aliyan Mina Toiro. The brother, uh, the brother brought Ali down from the plane. Next we have Dohika. I can simply say Dohika Abbas and Abbas loved. I can say other Haka Muhammad and Abbas and Muhammad made Abbas to laugh. Next we have Abaka. I can say Baka Tifla. The baby cried. I can say Abakal Walado Tifla. The boy made the baby to cry. 
Lastly, we have semi'a. I will say semi'a. Semi'a al ustad adhana. The teacher had the call to prayer. And here we say asma al mu'adhinu mudarris al adhana. The call to prayer made the teacher to hear the azan very easy. The second exercise is adkhil kull fi'li mimma yati fi jumlatayn. The following verbs you are also to place them in two sentences. Fi jumlatin ula kama hu. In the first sentence, use them the way they are. What fi jumlatin thani ya ba'da tadhifi. In the second sentence, after doubling the second letter, which means taking it to the pattern of fa'ala, mashallah. The first word we have here is darasa. I can say darasa talibu fil madrasa. The student learned in the less in the studied in the school, and I will say darasa madrasa taliba. The teacher taught the student, mashallah. Next we have Khawfa. I can say Khawfa al-waladu min abihi. The boy is afraid of his father. Khawfa al-waladu. In the second sentence I will say Khawfa al-abu walada. The father scared the son. So Khawfa. Next we have Nama. I will say Nama al-maridu. The sick slept. And I will say Nawama al-mumaridu al-maridu. The nurse made the sick to sleep. Next, we have Hafidho. I can say Hafidho Muhammadun al Quran. Muhammad memorized the Quran. And I will say Hafidho Muhammadun al Quran. The Hafid made Muhammad to memorize the Quran. And lastly, we have Jaffa. I can say Jaffa al Arubu. The earth become dried. And I will say, um, I will say Jaffa. The mother made the earth to dry, meaning she sucked out the water. Can you see? That is very easy. Number three, we have The following examples you can see, you will see some verbs which have lines under them. You are to simply state and indicate what and how these verbs are being made in their in, in their transitive in their transitive. These verbs originally we know they were intransitive verbs, but how do they become transitive? The first one we have man abikatiflu man abikatiflaya amina who made the baby to cry o amina. So the word abaka shows that this word udiatil filu be um be ziadati hamza. This verb is being made to turn to Transitive by Adin Hamza. Next we have Ma Abakahu Ahadu. No one made him cry. Inna ma ya became al He's only crying from hunger. So the same thing Abaka is addition of Hamza. Next we have Kala Talibul Jadidu Le Modarisi. The new student said to the teacher, Ya Ustazu, O teacher, Ajlisni Qariban Mina Saboro. Make me to sit close to the board. For in another read or if one because my sight is weak. So the word ajlisni, this is the word. So this is being made udiyat biziyadati hamza. It is being made to become transitive by simply adding hamza. Number three, we have nazalat nazal to minasayar. I came down from the car. Thumma nazal to ummi al mumarido. Then I brought down my sick mother. Can you see? So nazal to udiyat. It is being made to become transitive by simply doubling. Number four, we have Ya Ahmad. Oh Ahmad, la to the hikni wa ana akarau darsa. Do not make me to laugh while I'm read, reading my lesson. While I'm reading the lesson. So to the hikni is the word, and we see biziyadati, biziyadati hamza. It is the addition of hamza. However, this one is the is the present form. Number five, we have all the little The teacher said, this, the doctor said to me, "Akhrij lisan, like bring out your tongue." The word "akhrij" is the ziyadat hamza. Binaklihi ila ba bi afala. Mashallah. Qal Taala, Allah the Most High says in the Quran, Surah Nah, chapter sixteen, verse seventy-eight. He says, "Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la taalamuna shayya." And indeed, it is Allah. Who brought you out from the wombs of your mothers while you know nothing? 
Allahu Akbar. Allah bring, brought, out, brought us out from the womb of our mothers while we were ignorant of everything. We do not know anything. We become grown up. So the word akhrajakum is also udiyat. It is being made to become transitive. Biziyadati hamza awbi naklihi ila babi af'ala. MashaAllah. Number seven, we have Qawla Ta'ala. Allah the Most High also says, Surah Al-Furqan, verse 19, Allah says, وَمَنْ يَغْلِمْ مِنْكُمْ نُذِقُهُ عَذَابًا كَثِيرًا And whoever transgresses amongst you, would, we would make him to taste, to taste a great punishment. So, نُذِقُهُ make him to taste. So, this, udiyat بِنَقْلِهِ إِلَى بَابِ أَفْعَلَ It is also made to become a transitive verb by taking it to the pattern of أَفْعَلَ Number nine, we have bad at Tawaf was Sai, Yahli Kul Mortani Rotsa. After the Tawaf and the Sai, you being a Marwa or and the Sai, you what? The Mortani, the one performing the Umrah, will have to shave his head. So, how your Kosi Rushara, or he will reduce the hair. The word your Kosi Ru, the same thing, Beta Derif, addition, what is it called? Um, doubling of the letter. Number 10, we have called the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet, may the blessing and peace of Allah be upon him, said, La yunkihu al-muhrimu. The one in state of ihram should not get married, should not propose marriage, should not marry. Wa la yunkahu. And should not be made to marry. Wa la yakhtibu. And should not propose. So the word yunkihu binaklihi ila babi af'ala and yunkahu binaklihi ila babi af'ala aydan. Number 11, we have Qala Ta'ala, Allah the Most High says, وَأَنَّهُ هُوَ أَدْحَكَ وَأَبَكَ And indeed, it is Allah who causes one to laugh and causes him to cry. So, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses that she would laugh, you'll be happy. If he chooses that she should cry, no one can stop that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always grant us joy. So, the word أَدْحَكَ this is Udiyat, it is made to become a transitive verb Binaklihi ila babi af'ala wa kathalika kalimatu abaka Lastly we have, okay, number, we have another verse in the next verse Allah says Wa annahu huwa amata wa ahya And indeed it is Allah who causes death and causes life So amata and ahya binaklihima ila babi af'ala They have been taken to the pattern of af'ala That is why they become a transitive and very little Lastly we have Allahumma habib ilayna al-iman O Allah make faith to be beloved to us Make faith to be beloved, to become beloved to us So the word habib, this is binaklihi ila babi af'ala وَكَرِّهِ إِلَيْنَ الْكُفْرَ وَالْفُسُوقَ وَالْإِسْيَانِ And who Allah make um, Al-Kufra, make disbelief, immorality, and also sins to be hated to us. Make these three things hated to us. So, كَرِّهِ بِنَقْلِهِ إِلَى بَابِي فَعَلَى with this, we come to the end of this lesson. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us better understanding than we have put effort to make you understand. Until we meet again, Jadakumullah khayran. Wassalamu alaikum. And remember, practice makes perfect. Assalamu alaikum.